Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Snowboard Car Guy channel. If you're watching this video, then you're probably a car person. And if you're anything like me, you don't want to be going to the dealer or a local shop just to scan a code. This is something you can easily do at home with a simple code reader. In this video, I'm going to go over some of the positives and the negatives of this Creator C501 scanner and give you my quick review. Of course, there are many other scanners on the market, but most of them are very generic and aren't very specific towards BMWs. I've had a couple of these Bluetooth ones that I've used before, and all they give you is generic codes that aren't very useful at all. The Creator C501 is a BMW specific scanner with some limited functionalities for other cars. You can get the same functionality for a little bit less if you choose to go with the Creator C310 BMW and Mini scanner, but to me, it was worth the extra $20 to be able to scan some generic codes and reset them on you know, other cars. The scanner came in this nice pouch that I keep in my car at all times. Uh, I've had it for almost a year now and it actually saved me more than once uh, where I would have been stranded on a highway or had to call for a service. What happened to me is that my car went into the limp home mode and I wasn't able to uh, drive faster than 20-30 miles an hour and you know when you're on the highway that's not really safe. So I was able to reset the codes and continue driving the car. Of course, I made sure that it was safe, and in my case, it was a bad ignition coil, so the car actually shut off the fuel to one of the cylinders, which then uh, put the car in the limp home mode. Uh, once I reset the code, the car was driving fine, and it would only stutter if I would go over, you know, 5,000 RPM or so. But it was enough for me to get home and then do my own maintenance on the car without having to call a tow truck or anything like that. So the $60 or $70 that I spent on this scanner definitely paid off to me. I was able to identify what the issue was and reset the code, which allowed me to get home safely. But now let's look into some of the negatives and the positives of this scanner. All right, we're now in my garage and I plugged it into my BMW Z4, which is a E89 platform. So here's the menu that loads up when you plug it in. As you can see, you have the check engine. This is the generic code scanner for you know multiple cars, but you can also do the same thing on uh, your BMW. Once it loads, you're just gonna click on diagnose. Once the menu loads, you're greeted with a few options. You can uh, read your trouble codes. You can go in and see if you have a code. This car doesn't have any codes on it at the moment. Uh, just went too far. Uh, you can erase your trouble codes if you have any. You can go ahead and look in, into the data stream. So you can select all of them and it will show you everything that it has available. So there's 14 different pages of, um, you know, information that you can access. Uh, you know, information such as the trim levels. These are super important if you're troubleshooting uh, lean codes or anything like that. I've used it, you know, many, many times just to troubleshoot this car after replacing the engine. There's a lot of good information here and this is available on most cars. So this isn't BMW specific. You can also look into the freeze frame data. Nothing to see here for me. Uh, you can do component tests on different, on certain cars, not on all cars. This car does not support it. You can also do O2 sensor monitoring and some uh, vehicle information. All right, so now we're back at the main menu and we're going to go into the BMW selection. I'm going to click on OK. As you can see, one of the negatives for me is the clunky interface. These buttons, I don't know, they just don't seem to be in the right spots. Up and downs at the top and then you have enter and back on the, on the bottom. And then sometimes you have an option to select uh, at each corner, which doesn't really, you know, correspond to these buttons, but you have to press the bottom ones. It's a little bit confusing, but you know, you get used to it. Uh, once we're in the function uh, setting for the BMW specific items, these are only available for BMWs and minis. It will not work on any other car. Uh, from here, you can go to services and then you can reset uh, all kinds of services for your car. Here we're going to select my Z4 E89 and click on CBS reset, software reset. And here you're presented with all of the options that you can reset. So whenever you do an oil, you know, change oil in the car, microfilters, front brakes, rear brakes, so all of those annoying uh, messages that pop up in your screen, you can easily reset them from here. And your car will notify you when, you know, the next time 
uh, for some of these uh, services is due. All right, I'll go back. Now, the next item is what I really, really like about this scanner is if we go to auto scan, it's going to select my car automatically. You don't have to provide, you know, which car you have or anything like that. Um, this scanner should support any car from 2001 to 2016. At least that's what they claim. I've only tested it on this E89 on a BMW F10 550 and a Mini Cooper R56. So as you can see, once you click on uh, scan the system, it will automatically select all the modules that are available on your car. Uh, as you can see, I have some issues with the engine control module, so I can go in there. It will communicate. And we can read the trouble codes. So as you can see, I'm having an issue with fuel air, make sure being too lean. I can clear that code. I can even read the data stream out of this module directly. So we can, let's say, look into the fuel system and it will tell you, tell me information for that specific, you know, sensor or whatever it may be. And the cool thing is that you can do this for all of these modules. So if you're having, you know, a specific issue that you're trying to figure out, you can go in here and you can look, let's say you have issues with a parking brake, right? It's electronic, so it will tell you what the issues are. Uh, you can go to read data stream, see, and they can tell you if the button is pressed or not, you know, if it's getting the voltage from it. So if, uh, let's say, your button's not working, you will know based on this information. Now, you can also manually select these functions. Uh, let's say we select that same car. Right. You're presented with three different options, which allows you to troubleshoot the body, the chassis, uh, you know, and the drive. The drive is the engine, which we can go into. And as you can see, these are all the modules that you can play with. Other than the stuff that you see on the screen, I might have missed it somewhere. Uh, you can also troubleshoot the AC system, the powertrain, the fuel system components. Uh, ABS, SRS, SAS, ESP systems, all of that stuff is easily troubleshooted uh, with this sensor. You can even do um, the O2 sensor tests, which are, you know, pretty important for some of the older BMWs. Some of the other positives is that it's pretty quick. So if you go from, let's say, car to car, I'm going to select Series 2, F87. You know, it loads quickly. It goes from one to another without... A lot of hesitation or a lot of latency uh, another scanner that i'm going to be making a review about it's a lot lot slower in the menu and that's why i prefer using this one uh, whenever i'm using this one it's quick to get to the codes reset them get the information that i need uh, whatever it may be some of the things that i can't do is register a battery register keys uh, i can't program injectors uh, you know, some of the more granular stuff that you will normally require a BMW tool for, this cannot do. So if you're trying to do one of those things, this is not for you. Another positive about the scanner is that you can update the software via this micro SD card. You plug it into your computer and then you have an application for Windows computers that you can uh, update the software on. Um, mine has been the same since i got it which has been about a year now um it doesn't look like there's a newer version so you know it's a positive and a negative at the same time it's possible don't really know how often they update it or if it's actually you know maintained that well so in general the scanner is great for simple to medium level issues uh you know troubleshooting misfires things like that in your car this is great for it if you're working on something more complicated you know replacing injectors programming batteries, things like that, this is probably something to pass on and get something a little bit more expensive, something a little more advanced. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you found it useful. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. And hopefully that rain's gonna stop soon.